dance like Billie Jean. Wow. <laughs> That's club ready. Club ready? Club ready, play that in the club, see what happens. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most wretched show on the internet. My name is Riley Zoe, by my beast of a co-host, Dignan. <laughs> And today we've hired a bunch of independent artists to dance like clowns for us. This is <laughs> Guess the Rapper from the Fiverr Impression. If you didn't see the other two episodes, this is how this one's gonna work. DJ Grant and Dr. Tony have gone on Fiverr and hired a bunch of artists to do an impression of a rapper. We're gonna hear those impressions and try to guess which rapper they're impersonating. Easy. One point for each one to get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Ray from Shepherd, Texas. And while you may be a ray of sunshine, he's an omen of death. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website. It's on the screen. It's linked in description, as well as our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. <laughs> Last thing before we get into it, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, DraftKings. Draft we'll tell you more about them later in the video. Thank you, DraftKings. Thank you, DraftKings. Let's hear these Fiverr impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it a stack, all white rings with the insides black. He know I snap if he wanted to chat. Nigga got me fucked up, ain't going for that. Yeah, shit lit, bad and take some notes. Bitches always talking about shit they don't know. Coolest in the city, yeah, I stay froze. And I'm sitting so pretty, like, look at that glow. If she feeling lost, find her home. And I school bitches every time I log on the post. If the party not lit, I just pack up and go. And only bad bitches invited to my shows, like, like, do you take me for jokes? My name in her mouth, I bet she gonna choke them. Wow, that one was really good. Yeah, that was fire. <laughs> I love the sample speed up in the beginning. It's great kick rhythm. That yeah. was nice. Yeah, that was sick. I yeah. would listen to that. Me too. You know what I mean? And it seems like a child made it for us, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the toughest thing to like separate, is right. like their voice could be so different from the artist the, yeah. they're impersonating, but I want to pick based on who they sound like of to course. me. Yeah, you know? yeah but that's it's about the, the style. Thing. It's about mm -hmm. the, the method, the strategy. That's how I approach my raps. You're, you're what? That's how I approach my raps. What are your raps? I don't know, look me up. Like, I don't have time to explain my whole life story to you. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, I put a one already next to mine. I guess I was seeing the future. Huh. I'm seeing future next month. Are you really? Yeah. Where? Rolling Loud uh, North Pole. Rolling Loud North Pole? Trump! <laughs> That's where I'm seeing it. They're doing a Rolling Loud North Pole. North Pole. Yeah, I'm about to get crazy with some elves. <laughs> <laughs> You think the elves are gonna be there? If you sleep with them, you become immortal. If you sleep, what, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. You mean sleep with them like- Procreate? Oh my gosh, okay. And you become immortal, not like your child, your spawn? Troll. I, I'm so confused. What? Yep. So wait. Rolling Loud North Pole. So you're going to Rolling Loud North Pole specifically to try to procreate no. with elves to become no. immortal? Or are you no. just giving me a fact? Yeah, I'm just letting you know if I am so lucky to be involved in one of the legendary elf orgies of Rolling Loud North Pole. It's kind of like Burning Man, but with snow. <laughs> and there's like a freaky dome that you can go into and get freaky. A freaky dome? Yeah, that's what it's like at Burning Man. There's like a dome. No, I know. The I just, orgy yeah. dome. Everyone knows the notorious orgy dome, but it's like that. I guess it's kind of an igloo, you could say. <laughs> You're right. going the freaky elf igloo and you get all sorts of... And then, bang, <laughs> next thing you know, you get to live forever. Unless you die in combat. You can die in combat. Is everyone, they can't rob you of a hero's death. So, so, so that's you, always you, an You option. can only die valiantly. <laughs> Correct. Oh, so it's kind of like that thing of when you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Sure. Three, two, one. Oh, Coil Array. I put Ice Spice. This is Ice Spice. Let's go. Oh, okay. It just had a New York atmosphere to it. I was thinking Koi, but then when we had the talk about the voice, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was like, I can't be led astray. I knew like they were going to pick Ice Spice for this game. And I just went with it. Okay, yeah. Hey, good job. Thank you, Riley. Sure, sure. Honestly, positive reinforcement from you means a lot to me. Really? Yeah. Why? Like a lot. But why? I don't know. You spent a lot of time bullying me, I guess, when we were children. Maybe you're just oversensitive and you're like a little baby or something. See what I mean? I don't see what you mean. Positive reinforcement? That's what you need from me? I don't need it. I said it means a lot. I don't need a bouquet of tulips, but Grant gets me one every Wednesday. What are you doing? Posing? You're doing cat boy stuff? I'm trying to open up to you. It's just like feelings. ridiculous. It's just like, I don't know. Just shut up. It's like, why do you forget need so, I said anything? Just why do you need so much validation? Just forget like, I said oh anything. Gosh, it's like. Just forget oh. I said anything, all right? Grant, can we hear the next impression? 
Uh. One, two, count my ups on the road. Yeah, my uh, Mary jeans. Got a couple bands on my Mary jeans. Bad bitches on the yes. This shit in Billie Jean. On the eye, on the lean. She dance like Billie Jean. <laughs> It really settled in for me. The atmosphere, yeah. Yeah. You know? That's club ready. Club ready? Club ready. Play that in the club. See what happens. I don't think much would happen. I think people would go ballistic and berserk. <laughs> ballistic and berserk. Berserk. Berserk is a weird word because it should be berserk. <laughs> it really should be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's talk about it. It's like if, 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 it's like if the word bizarre was berzar. <laughs> You know, oh, that that animal looks bizarre. <laughs> you like, what? But it's like berserk just works so well. You're like, oh, that's berserk. Yeah. But berserk. <laughs> I like when people say it though. Berserk. <laughs> you make me go berserk. <laughs> Why is that a word? Berserk. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like it. It's a good one though. Three, two, one. Young Lean. I put Chief Keef. It is Young Lean. Dang. Yeah. You can even see a little bit of the accent work in there, like yeah. like Billy Jean. Yeah, I know? hear it now, like especially with the vocal. Like the background vocals too. Oh yeah, it's like total Ooh. cloud rap, old young lean. Which rapper right now do you think could like tour in the future with like a full orchestra? Well, I mean, like famously, Chief Keef did the symphony video. Right. Gunna's done it. Those are just like viral videos, though. I'm saying. No, like no, a... totally. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's like Kanye and Tyler, yeah. Frank Ocean, like all those people who kind of have like already have that atmosphere that mm -hmm. feels like it could be built out for sure. And I'm like, honestly, anybody who like chops up the soul, J Cole. Chance the Rapper, like all of them could my have that. Hmm? My ex-girlfriend chopped up my soul. Oh, right. <laughs> so she could do it too. I'm sure she would tour great with the symphony if you're going to continue chopping up souls, Abigail. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. You'd think she was on the show Survivor. The way she was backstabbing, conniving, lying, and just straight up hot. Here's the problem with Abigail. If she were to tour with a symphony, she'd probably suck and fuck each one of them. And that's, like, and that's kind of like, you know, you know yeah. it seems like that would uh, that'd cause tension on tour. So. Yeah, you are spot on. I got bro. your back, bro. Thank I mean, you, I got man. your back, man. Talk about a homie hopper. Yeah, she was a homie hopper. <laughs> How would I be big back, tiny whack back, was creativity cancer, whole damn stock, copy cap, limiting factor, give me limiting now, the villainy sound, now not after, bitch, you can hate if you want, host suck my left nut, they just kick from a level down, like a bad punk, I can't score, just living rent free from a chill spot, long dick, heavy the goat on the hilltop. Interesting. Fast. I'm between like two. Oh man, man, this is this is a tough one. Rattle off some people that it's not, just to settle in. Uh, sure, YMW Melly. Shoreline Mafia. Mac Miller. YMW B-Slime. Oh, yeah, My, Melly's little brother. Yeah. Kim Petrus. BRH. BRH, what's that? Bankroll. Hayden. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Fiverr is kind of like the dollar store of the internet. Yeah, I and like that, that. When you walk into the dollar store, not everything's a dollar. Facts. And when you walk onto Fiverr, not everything's five dollars. No. Sometimes it's twenty. Sometimes it's a hundred dollars. True. And a hundred dollars kind of is the new five dollars. Really? Or is it the other way around? Uh, no. I got it right <laughs> yeah. the first time. You did. <laughs> I got it right the first time. That would be awesome <laughs> if like reverse inflation happened. What is reverse inflation? Is that outflation? I guess. Yeah, that's probably what it's called. But yeah, that would be sick. Like if you were going to buy like a pair of shoes and they were like, all right, that'll be eight bucks. Yeah. We just made the minimum wage $4, but $4 is technically like $100. If minimum wage was $100 though? Wow, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd probably work at like a Ben and Jerry's or something. Oh, yeah. I'd work at like an ice cream shop. I can see you scooping. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. They're always like, you get to play a little music in there. Uh -huh. It's like a safe place to be overly friendly. Ooh, what are we getting today, you little bad boys and girls? What do we want to eat a little? <laughs> don't, don't drop it. I'm just kidding. If you do, I'll give you another one. Who cares? Minimum wage is $100. <laughs> or I'd hunt narwhals. What? That's that seems at odds. <laughs> That's another fun, thing. silly little job where like it's also a safe place to be goofy. Now, narwhals are not extinct yet. No, they seem like they would be, <laughs> totally right? They don't be. seem like they exist. Yeah, if you harvest enough of their horns, though. What happens? <laughs> Brother, I got something to tell you. Please tell me. This is getting it's amazing. You don't know. Why would it's you like make me ancient, feel this stupid? It's, it's just like, like an ancient, not like everyone should know this. Well, please tell me. Do you really want to know? Yes, obviously I do. You can unlock the perfect jump shot. You've never heard this? <laughs> this is how Ray Allen's dad kind of like anointed him with 45 narwhal horns. And that's how he got that laser sharp three point shot. Are you, 
This is news to you? I mean, I'm a basketball fan and I'm also curious about sea life and I had zero idea that this L was a thing. Literally in the good book, it says, lay the baby upon the pile of the narwhal horns and the blessed jumper shall be upon them. That's why I'd be a narwhal hunter. It'd be so fun. Yeah, yeah. I guess. So who is a little narwhal? Could you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that horn. Three, two, one. I put suicide boys. I put JPEG mafia. This is Danny Brown. It was, that was my mm. other that was my other guess that I didn't guess. His voice is hard to imitate, but then I just thought like because there was that like clenched throat that dip, 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 I was like, oh, I could see a Suicide Boys or like three six mafia. Sure. Thing, you know. I was right in the ballpark. Yeah, you were. All right, Grant, let's hear the next one. It breaks my heart. Could be embracing the love. Elevate. With one God. It only takes faith and believing That you can't reach where you wanna go and get there You gotta work hard You gotta believe You gotta embrace Embrace the love Help your brothers and sisters I've never rapped in a song before but this is my first try So I get to it In a pit Let me get that love Let's embrace that love God did. How many times did I wake up? How many times did I cry? How many times did I love? You only get to live once. So we embrace that love. Embrace that love. Do you feel inspired? No. Not in the slightest. <laughs> really? No. Why? What do you mean? That sucked. That sucked? <laughs> I that, feel inspired to go out and help people. and That kind of shit can't inspire me. Live my well. best life. I was going to be buy a Peloton. <laughs> you can do that. Don't let my lack of inspiration halt your like journey towards God and giving back and the better things in life. It's just like, for oh, me, no, no, no. God's not real. I'm not, no. I don't care about any of that. Okay. I just like my own life, you know, make yeah, my good. own life better. Good. Get, get more things, like good. stuff like that. That's yeah. kind of the, do like, that. Collect more materials and do it, man. Uh, I'm stoked for you. I'm happy that helped. But like me and Grant and like some other people are like a little more. We're kind of like above that. We see beyond that. Really? Yeah, we don't need to do the whole self-improvement thing. Just like meditate and eat ayahuasca chips and stuff. Watch old family guy. That's really all I need out of life. I see past it. There is something waiting for me on the other side that is greater than anything that this world has to offer me. This so. is like, like you're kind of like saying all of the things that like. It's like it's I like, looked inside and I saw a light. That's exactly on this. the this other is the side. Whole thing. This is and like, like I uplifted. The, thing. I uplifted the people around me first, and that helped me kind of be. Come we uh, the what, one? how are you looking at what I just said <laughs> yeah, and and yeah. like you're saying the exact same thing a different way? No, I'm saying don't let me be an uninspired. Stop you. Like I want you to do you. It seems like you're pretty inspired. I don't know. This is weird. I'm wide open, baby. Like <laughs> Every chakra aligned. It's like a my souls are kind of like in a lunar and solar eclipse simultaneously. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. It is DJ Khaled. Wow. <laughs> the golfing phenomena. Such a gruff voice on this person doing their DJ Khaled thing. Yeah. At the beginning, I was like, is this Ja Rule? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, is Ja Rule Buster Rhymes or something? Yeah. God, dude. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Remember not to go down on your girlfriend. She doesn't deserve it. That is inspiring. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm still kind of turned a page on the whole. <laughs> oh, that is really inspirational. On that note, before we get into the next one, do you want to tell them about our sponsor, DraftKings? I really do. Riley, you know what time it is, right? Like 3.20 something, probably. It's playoff time, Riley. That's right. Teams are fighting it out to pursue eternal basketball glory. Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. Draft and they're bringing the high stakes action to all new customers. DraftKings Sportsbook is offering all new customers $150 in bonus bets instantly. Yep, that's right. New customers bet just $5 on any any wager and they'll receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. You know what you can do with $150 in bonus bets? I don't. Honestly, you should tell me. What I would do, I'd use DraftKings same game parlays so I can kind of pile up my bets so my payout is even bigger. 
And if mobile sports betting is not available in your state, don't worry. You can still get in on the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they offer cash prize contests for nearly every sport. Tennis, even. Which I, I would argue is more of a performance. <laughs> Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now following the link in our description. All new customers that use code HIVEMIND and bet $5 on any wager will get the $150 bonus bets instantly. That's promo code HIVEMIND at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you, DraftKings, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Let's do it. And we're back. Let's get into the next impression. I see me and they get to running like a marathon. I see me and they fall in love, but I swear to God I never married one. Only running with the gang, can't love everyone. He fumbled his location, Brody put the Glock, he carry on him. Drizzy Drake is scary hours, made him do a double take, paranoid. Got a chopper on me, I won't pump fake, you know we gonna bury yours. White thought he edgy geek, you're nothing crazy, call it Drew Barrymore. Higher than the mare planes in the night sky, B.O.B. Paramore. Gucci on your body, never seen that on the runway. How you rich without a bed frame? You know you're messing up the feng shui. Your girl says she a vegan now, but I give her meat as an entree. I don't got no Beyonce's, 99 problems I don't call bae. Never had a fiance, I just trade them out after 90 days. I'm an American Idol, they gon' do whatever Simon say. I go wherever commas pay, plug saying on delay. I'm leaving just to meet them, even if I'm in Rihanna phase. That was just good. Yeah, it was awesome. That was hard. There were some great, clever bars in there. Yeah. A little bit nondescript on who they're impersonating. I think there's a lot of people who rap kind of in this style. I like the voice on this sucker. Did you hear about the death row inmate who started dating the judge? <laughs> no. I asked him what he saw in her, and he said, she gives me life. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. Are they still together? He has since passed. Three, two, one. I put BLP kosher. I put 21 Savage. This is Babytron. Ah, oh, okay. That makes some sense. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's kind of hard to do Babytron on not like an exact Babytron beat. Yeah, fair. Because that's like the whole production style makes up what he does. Yeah, you know? and without referencing like Rodney Stuckey or another bizarre deep cut <laughs> Pistons player. Yeah. yeah, that's why I went with BLP Kosher though. It's just like the writing style was very like bar heavy, yep. you know? When the beat started, that was the first person I thought of. And then just like the Drake mention and it got a little violent at some points. I thought maybe he's just doing like a weird 21 Savage thing. The tone reminded me of Big Sean. Big Sean. Yeah. Wow. I love Big Sean. Did no. you know that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I am. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity to proclaim my love for Big Sean, but here I am sitting on the throne with a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people listening to me, and I'm going to scream it from the rooftops. Okay. Go up there. I love Big Sean. <laughs> I love you. No one's ever made me feel this way. I'll do anything for you. I'm just crazy about you. Thank you, Sean. Big Sean, I love you! <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What? What do you love about him? I love your cornrows! And that you're much, much shorter than me! And that your bars are so witty! And that you left your wife for me! I love you, Big Sean! <laughs> and thanks for taking me to Dolly World! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Big Sean took me to Dolly World. <laughs> I super liked them on Tinder. <laughs> that was our first date. He is rich as fuck. Let me tell you. He flew my, he flew my yeah. ass out on a PJ straight to Dolly World. Next thing you know, we're riding wooden roller coasters through the woods. <laughs> Me and Sean, hand in hand. We were ducking and diving from the paparazzi all day, but eventually, love wins. <laughs> By the time guess, this video yeah. comes out, I'm sure the relationship will be public. So. <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with everything I've said and done. So far, so you can just send that out there, and I'm sure it will not spoil our budding romance. I thought he was with Janae Iko. She left her because she doesn't like Dolly World. <laughs> but me, on the other hand, fuck, I'm obsessed with that place. Holy shit, I got an airbrush t shirt, Dolly World on it. Used it as a rag later on accident, but I got it. Grant, let's hear the next one.
God, she was giving. Reminds me of the Lower East Side in the 80s. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was going to say the exact same thing, actually. Go, go, boots. Yankees jerseys, Yankees hats. <sighs> Bronx bombers. Mets hats, Mets jerseys. Giants pants. Rangers hats, Rangers jerseys. Islanders hats, Islanders jerseys. Bang, bang, bang. NYU shirts, NYU hats. Yes, sir. I love New York shirt. Of course. Knicks hat, Knicks jersey. Statue of Liberty figurine shoved right up my ass. <laughs> Keep it there for later. Fire it out in the club on the dance floor. Fink! Hold it up for everyone to see. Snow globe in my pocket. I break it open. I pour that liquid into a drink. Ask my friends if I should drink it. They say, no, that's super dangerous. And I say, no, listen, I think it might taste good. It looks like it could taste good. Please let me drink it. Mm -hmm. They're like, stop, stop. Please don't drink it. You're going to get poisoned. Mm -hmm. And I say, no, I'm drinking it. I want to drink the atmosphere of New York. Mm -hmm. I love this city so much. I want to drink a snow globe mm -hmm. of it. I take a little sip of it. It's disgusting. Yep. I spit it back out and I say, no, thanks. Yeah, That Nine. was a bad idea. And you guys are right. Thank you for caring about me. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Beyonce. That's what I put. It is Beyonce. Oh, yeah. I, I thought Rihanna at the beginning, just in terms of the vocal runs, reminded me more of that. Sure. But then lyrically, it was way more Beyonce than Rihanna. Yeah. yeah. Big time. That right. was really good. Like a yeah. really good impression, but also like a great vocalist, whoever they are. Good vocalist. Well, yeah, I guess when you're comparing yourself to Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. Difficult, it's tough. You know? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. That's like, so like you saw a high school baseball game and you said, wow, that's a great hitter. And then, like, Barry Bonds is at the game watching, and you're like, okay, well, sorry. Good, good hitter. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Bonds. <laughs> sorry, I didn't Mr. See you. Bonds. Yeah. I wonder what Barry Bonds is doing right now. You think he's living a happy, retired life? I don't know. You think life's gotten the best of him? I don't know that man. You think I prefer he's prefer not to speculate about people that I don't know. Think he still lives in San Francisco? Why would you ask me that? Do you think he ever puts on his jersey and kind of looks in the mirror and says, he's still got a kid? He's not a kid. Why would he call himself a kid? Uh. I guess everyone kind of still sees themselves as the child they once were. Absolutely not. I see myself as a little goblin who lives kind of in a hole in the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm friends with bats and lizards. And I eat raw snails right out of the shells. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I see myself as. But they say I have something. I see myself as a movie star waiting to happen. That's what I tell myself in the mirror every single morning. I say, hey, what's up, Ryan Sheckler? Oh, yeah. Know him. Hit an ollie. Golfer. That's what I say in the mirror. Go, Goblin. Go, Goblin. I'll say that to myself sometimes. Go, Goblin. <laughs> I'll say, you got this today, you little fucking freaky Goblin. I'll say, go, Goblin. I'll dance in the mirror like this. <laughs> Ready to conquer the day. <laughs> yeah, give me another snail. Stuff like that. <laughs> Do goblins canonically eat snails? <laughs> I don't know. It makes sense though, right? Right. They live in like a wet cave and there's little snails like... Not little snails, actually. I take that back. Big snails. Gigantic, disgusting snails. <laughs> and then you just... <sighs> and that fuels you. That makes sense. Grant, let's hear the next impression. Yeah. Dang. Y'all know the name, don't have to proclaim it. Young boy came out straight from the basement. Writing all day, my pen been breaking. Gotta bring the heat when I'm hitting up stages. Gotta let them know why I do my own thing, yeah. Just so my foes know that I made it. Yeah. None of this fake shit, okay I went ghost on all these songs since last summer Gone a few months working like Ghostbusters But I'm back in the booth spitting bars with the hustlers Make them rappers ghost cause they know there's no other Working low key like I'm undercover Got you fuckers buzzing Okay, better get ready cause young Kazzy coming out for the go You know I can't keep it steady, I gotta go out and get more, yeah Huh, this one's hard to pin down They said their own name too Yeah, yeah. like to <laughs> yeah. shout yourself out in an impression <laughs> rap That's too complex of a thing for little old me to unpack, but yeah. it means something. It's like if you were like, you guys want to hear my Joe Biden? You were like, my name's Dignan. I'm absolutely uncorked. And I'm unbridled with the love I feel for Big Sean. My trip to Dolly World is something I'll remember for the rest of my life, regardless of if you choose me or Jane Delaco for to be your lover. You know what I mean? That'd be like, why? Yeah, wait a minute. Why? Uh, was that Joe or was that Dignan? Yeah, it's yeah. almost like projecting or saying the things you're not confident enough to say. Totally. With the guise of someone else. Yeah, that's like if I said, you want to hear my Nicolas Cage impression? Yeah. You know, I've always dealt with uh, a crippling self-doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Be not fooled by my charm and my, you know, <laughs> behind that is a scared man. I wear a happy mask and there is a man who's crying behind it. You've seen the memes. But someday, me, Riley Savage, <laughs> 
I hope to overcome it, you know? Yeah. I grew up in Sylvania, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> yeah. My parents are still together. Yeah, they are. I played baseball and basketball growing up. <laughs> And my sister's name is Meredith. My brother's name is Keegan. And my uncle is Tony Hawk. And you don't live in Las Vegas, do you? I do not live in Las Vegas. I have never been in a movie. Three, two, one. I put logic. I put Wiz Khalifa. This is logic. Oh. Nice. Yeah. I could tell in the flow. But then when it slowed down and it got all biographical, it was difficult. Yeah. <laughs> never heard of any of his music. You've never heard a single Logic song? Can't say I have. I think you have. Don't talk to me like you know me. What about, I just want to die, you know? Nothing. Who can relate? Woo! You never heard that one? <laughs> no. What's the weirdest animal sound you can make? Oh, a duck. A duck? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> sound like a Jersey duck. <laughs> 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 Oh, it sounds like Wawa. They have a bunch of there. Oh, maybe that's what it is. What's that? Wawa, it's like a Jersey gas station fast food joint. It's also what babies call water. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's stupid fucking little babies will call water Wawa. And a baby duck will be like, Wawa. Yeah. And then the mom's like, you're sitting in it. Take a little drink. I, yeah. don't, I don't want to get you shit, you fucking bozo. God, I raised fucking morons. Yeah. You're just like your father. <laughs> Look down. There's water all around you. Don't ask me for shit. Yeah. It's like asking me for air. What the hell? I hold you closely. Call me my pillow. Wait till the morning. Nice. That was really, really good. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. And one of the most obvious ones so far, I think. Not for me. Oh, really? Nothing. Yeah, I don't know. There was something pretty obvious about the approach on that one, I think. I could be wrong. But... Melodically, it definitely reminded me of something, but again, dead air. You know what I was thinking about? What's that? Who do you think was the first person to dance? <laughs> that is a fun thought. You know what I mean? Like music, music comes on and then somebody just looks over the like, What's he doing? <laughs> and he's like moving to the music and they're like, he's like probably dancing back then. Like there was no reference for it. So probably, no. He probably was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And then eventually he was like. <laughs> People didn't know if you were getting better or worse or. <laughs> like that, like eventually. Well, that's kind of where it's at now. So I think maybe the first dance was more like. Oh yeah, I guess they did do like weird shit. Damn Tom, go crazy. He's like. <laughs> oh shit, he bent over. This shit was insane. <laughs> Alternate question, who do you think was the first person to twerk? Oh yeah, I like that question too. You know what I mean? Like, like, like somebody was just like, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Like they just like poked it out. And yeah. then everybody was like, wait a minute, what let's up? do that for the next 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> All over the internet. <laughs> Expound on that. Who's the first person to make it clap? True. Because then that, that must have been electric. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. To be in that room. They're like, wait, that sound came from where now? <laughs> oh, your hands are up in the air, yet I hear applause. <laughs> also, I would like to start a slow clap one time with an ass shaking. Yeah, I, you know I like I mean? that. I like that. You end a speech and someone's like. <laughs> Like a villain walking in, but there's somebody beside them just going. <laughs> like, very, very impressive presentation, boys. <laughs> Sorry to rain on your parade. And they're like, what's she doing here? <laughs> She's making it clap. <laughs> Three, two, one. SZA. Ariana Grande. This is Dua Lipa. Oh, really? That's. Wow, I was way off. Yeah, no. The runs in it were so, like, soulful, so, like, yeah. SZA style. I can see that. I do not see Dua here. So much auto-tune, too. Imagine if Dua was auto-tuned. Couldn't make her more perfect. Good point, buddy. <laughs> it's a little spaceship for him. <laughs> yeah, I got more SZA vibes from that, but hey. Yeah. Rolling down the street, my homie's by my side. Smoking on that chronic, feeling all so high. Got my mind, got my money, and my money on my mind. Life's a trick, but I'm living just fine. Yeah, I spit fire on the track. 
always on the attack. Yeah, I'm the king of the game and I'm here to stay. I lay back smooth with the flow so tight. My rhymes hit hard left to left from Mike. Yeah, I'm a legend in the game, doing this for years. Still on top, still bringing the heat, no fair. I spit fire on the track. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for years. <laughs> I love that. Just like, like it felt like they were almost trying to do the impression. Like, well, I better say something true about the artist. Yeah. Like, I've been doing this for years. I'm still at the top of the game. I also spit fire on the track. I keep it tight. You I know. have hella chains. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It's laid back. It's chill. Fire on the track. Again, did not mean for that to rhyme. <laughs> Uh, I'm just really... Sometimes you can't escape the poet that lies within. He was a poet, and he didn't know it, but his shoes show it. They say poet on him. <laughs> Shoot, the shoes say poet on him. <laughs> Those are the poetry ones. Three, two, one. I put Snoop Dogg. That's what I put. It is Snoop Dogg. Hey! Oh! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what, what? Am I supposed to know this? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Please, 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 do not let me die tonight. I cannot die tonight, Lord. I need help. <laughs> and amen. <laughs> I don't, do we practice that or something? Yeah, <laughs> Little League Baseball. That was my Homer celebration. I didn't know you when you were in Little League. I met you like, what, a year and a half, two years ago now? We weren't in Little League together? No. Well, I just stopped playing about a year ago. Why were you playing Little League? Aren't you like in your 40s? Yeah, I have a learning disability. Which learning disability? The curveball. And the knuckle. I have okay. a hard time with the knuckle. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it has anything to do with, okay, whatever. They let me play. And the writer strike. Get back to work. No, no, no. No? no. I love Fallon. I want to see Fallon. We all want to see Fallon, Riley, but for the right fucking price. It's been free for me. It's just on like cable. It's on like NBC or something. You don't pay 400 bucks a month for Peacock? <laughs> That's how much Peacock is? That's how much my Peacock is. Jesus, I didn't know it was that expensive. I'm just trying to see if people can get back to work. I don't know. This country used to be a country and it just feels like nowadays everybody's so lazy with the Gen Z and the TikTok and the short form and the vertical and the swipe content. Everybody's working for the weekend, except the writers. <laughs> I'm joking about everything I said, by the way. I support the writer's strike. Writer's strike. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we don't have writers, so our show can stay on the air. Troll! Can you guys tell we don't have writers, by the way? Leave a comment down below if you can tell we have writers or not. Let's get into the last one. I guess, man. I'm having such a good time with you. I really low-key, like, on the low-low, don't want this to be ovo. <laughs> ove ove <laughs> love love I don't want this to be ove ove <laughs> ove -o. Save the best for last. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounded like Elvis Costello meets Tripper Jones.
<laughs> what? Elvis Costello, like the singer from like the 70s and the 80s. And, yeah. then, and then Chipper Jones, the Atlanta Braves baseball legend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it didn't sound like that to me, but whatever. <laughs> that was very, very good though. It was like Michael McDonald or something. I saw him, you know. You saw Michael McDonald? Yeah, at the coronation. The coronation? Yeah, I was at the coronation, King Charles. You were? Yeah. How was it? It's all right. I think I overpaid for my ticket, but it was good. How much you pay? 400000 Yeah. That's a lot. And I wasn't even courtside. Like, my feet weren't on the hardwood. I guess it was courtside, technically, but... The there was, it was at a court, like a basketball court. Yeah. They call it parliament or something over there. But yeah, it was at a basketball court. I just, I watched footage of it. I didn't see any basketball court. Well, in the beginning, they chop the head off the old king and they shoot it in the hoop. <laughs> it has to go in. And if you miss, you can't be new king. Obviously, Charles is wet from like 30. So <laughs> he drew, I mean, it was like pull up jeans, like work boots still on. He said, give me that. That just shows how little I understand the UK. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of presentation, pomp and circumstance, crowns and rituals and stuff. I don't really get it either. I just wanted to be there. But like I was saying, I was sitting next to Michael McDonald. Do you see Nick Cave? Nick Cave was there? Nick Cave was there. He walked with him and everything. Wow, I'm yeah. surprised. He's like obsessed with the Royals. I'm glad I didn't bump into him, honestly. Yeah. We don't get along. Never have. You're a bad seed. I feel like you'd get along great with Nick Cave. Yeah, that's what everybody said. But it's, all, it's kind of been one of those classic situations where mutuals always introduce you as... Oh, you two. Right, right, right. You two are about to be fucking wild together. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, what's up, man? I'm I'm just a guy. And he's like, yeah, no, I am too. Right. I guess it's like an arranged marriage situation. It never exactly, works out. Yeah. It's never as beautiful as just finding that person you love. Sex is great. <laughs> like in general? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I agree. This Sex is, is great. Sex is awesome. Three, two, one. I put Post Malone. Ah, I put Lil Wayne. This is the weekend. Oh, yeah, I don't see that. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. I don't think it was a great Post Malone impression either, but I can hear that a little bit. I thought I could hear like a singing era Lil Wayne in there with the way they did their auto tune. I'll be honest, something that did come to mind for me is YBN Namir. Oh yeah, Because sure. of Soul Train. Now yeah. this is a great example, like this is better yeah. than Soul Train, yeah. obviously. But just like the type of song that they were making reminded me of that kind yeah. of. If I gave you all my love. Would that make you happy? It would. Yeah. Not. Okay. It'd be too much fucking love for me. Yeah, that is a lot. If I give you all my love, I'd be like, save some of your fucking folks. This is embarrassing. You have a family. <laughs> and also, like, save stuff for the other things that you like. Like, I love chicken nuggets. Oh, trinkets. Right. Yeah. I yeah. love a little a little bric a brac. And like, what if you go pet a corgi? Like, oh, I like this little guy. No. No, no, no. no. You gotta yeah. be like, oh, I love this little guy. Look at his little face. <laughs> and then they're like, wait a minute. I thought you gave me all your love. How are yeah. you giving some to this corgi? Mm -hmm. That's where you get you get stuck up. <laughs> You know, you can't give all your love to somebody. You got to be able to love burgers and vacations. <laughs> True, man. You're actually preaching low key right now on the Lolo. I think this video is over. Of. Okay. All right. Five to four final score. Shout out to everybody on Fiverr who made these wonderful impressions. If they choose to be linked in the description so you can buy something from them, they will be. So check down there for some links. Also, if you'd like to make an impression for this game, hop on Fiverr. Yeah. Tony and Grant are in the shadows lurking, trying to find <laughs> the best impressions. Also, thanks again to our sponsor, DraftKings. Draft Use code HiveMind. Check the link in description. Shout out to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Diggy, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? Cherish those who seek the truth, but beware those who find it. All right, this has been I TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>